most of the city's power stations, uh, electricity power stations have been flooded and our teams were unable to access them last night. But our team started working on these facilities in the early hours of this morning. We would like to urge our communities to bear with us while we are working to restore electricity supply to all residential areas and businesses. We want to assure the residents that we are attending to all these infrastructural challenges that we are faced with. There are certain water treatment plants and water mains that have been damaged, including those that belong to the water. Our teams are on the ground to try and return the situation to normal. Our roads were not spared following the trees that blocked the pathways in many residential areas of our municipality. We continue to assess the damage and further details will be given as the day progresses. At the moment, we can't be certain on monetary terms of the extent of the damage that we have incurred as a city. But we would like to caution and also issue an alert to all community members that let us do all our best as community members to ensure that if there is no emergency for community members to go to town to leave their residential areas, they must remain at home. Uh, where there are lower bridges uh, next to the streams and the rivers, we also, also wish to appeal to, to our community, community members, members to avoid, to avoid uh, those, uh, those uh, uh, routes, routes so that, so that they are able, able to save lives, lives especially, especially during, during this difficult time that we are faced with. As, As a city, uh, we, we wish, wish to express our heartfelt condolences uh, to all families that have lost their loved ones, ones during uh, these heavy rains. rains. And we are, as a city, going to be interacting with them to give necessary support wherever it is required. Uh, what is being done to address the electricity challenges in KZN following flooding? Um, where there are these events that uh, disrupt the supply of electricity, uh, in some instances we're aware that there are power lines down and uh, also that, that there may be localised flooding which could impact uh, our substations. Uh, we dispatch our maintenance crews, we prioritize uh, work uh, to give the maximum relief to the maximum number of customers as quickly as possible. Uh, this is a uh, an emergency situation. I think that's quite clear, just judging by the more than 200 millimeters of rain that's fallen in the Tequini municipality over the past 24 hours and the flooding that's taken place. Uh, we are also looking at uh, opportunities to uh, alleviate some of the pressure on the system uh, and hopefully we, with our local management in place, can address the situation as it unfolds. At the moment, it is very dynamic. Things are changing all the time. The floods are still in progress and uh, in, in a number of instances, we'll have to wait for the flood waters to subside before we can start the process of um, assessing damage, first of all, but then secondly, to start the repair work that will be required. You will appreciate that water and electricity don't mix, so we also have to bear in mind the safety of our crews as well as the general public when it comes to restoring the supply of electricity, particularly in waterlogged areas. In terms of fatalities, we have agreed in the province that um, MEC for Cogta must communicate on our behalf as, as, as municipalities so that we don't deliver different messages when it comes to fatalities. Of course, there are fatalities in Etegwini that we have experienced. Many people have lost their lives, uh, but we'll give necessary support uh, to those families uh, when we move out of the offices and work with them during this difficult period. But we, we are also responding on issues of um, infrastructure. Remember that uh, our landfills, uh, uh, centers have been flooded. Uh, all our electricity stations, major ones, are also flooded. Our water treatment plants uh, that we are using to save these communities, our bulk pipes, uh, also, also involving Bungeni water, bulk pipes of water have been affected. So, which then cripples the manner in which uh, we render those services to our communities. The mayor also does not have water uh, at home, and many uh, residents in the city have got no water. So we are attending to that, 
uh, the infrastructure team is all out to ensure that we fix uh, whatever that can be fixed with, with the speed. But our teams will be working 24-7 uh, to ascertain that all services uh, that have been uh, affected are, re are, re are reinstated to all communities of the city. Uh, the, the, the issue uh, concerning the symmetries, yes, the reports that they received earlier on today, today there were indications, indications that there were symmetries which, which have been um, uh, flooded. Uh, so, so our teams are already out to ensure that uh, we save uh, the, uh, the damage that uh, we are seeing and uh, the, 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 the risk that our people can also find themselves in if we are not resolving this with immediate effect. So our teams are working hard uh, to ensure that uh, we attend to those symmetries. Uh, so the flooding is all over. And, and we we'll request, request that, that our community members, members wherever business people, and the churches, and religious fraternity, uh, to, come to come on board, board uh, to, to assist us wherever, wherever possible, possible uh, because, because we need all hands uh, to ensure that to save the lives, but also those who need immediate uh, interventions like food and many other interventions are also accessing such services. services. Uh, together, together with our teams, uh, we are also working with some NGOs and NPOs uh, to prepare and also ensure that we supply meals, uh, we also supply blankets uh, to ensure that those who are located in our community halls, at least they have something uh, to keep them uh, going at this moment. But we also wish to appeal to all residents that if you see that your house uh, is in danger, or is vulnerable uh, during this period, it's better to leave your house and find a safe place uh, to live uh, rather than um, being washed away with the house uh, that you are living in. We understand the pain uh, that it's not easy to live with property, but, but we need to save lives. That must become our primary objective, all of us, to save people's lives.